welcome back, uh, dear viewers, and uh, you are still uh, watching the breakfast show. And in this segment of our uh, program, uh, we will talk about the BRICS uh, summit as uh, President Al-Fatih Sisi heads on Tuesday to Russia to attend the summit in Kazan. This round is to witness Egypt's uh, participation as an active member since uh, its admission to the group at the beginning of 2024 and uh, to shed more light on the importance of Egypt's participation in the summit we are joined over the phone by uh, Dr. Reem Assam, Professor of Economics at Cairo University. Good morning. Good morning to you, Mom. It's a pleasure to be with you this morning. Yes. Good morning, Dr. Reem. Good morning. Welcome to our breakfast show. Welcome to you and welcome to uh, our audience. Thank you so much. Uh, so please let me ask you what's the importance of uh, this BRICS summit um, in, the, in Egypt participation? How does this affect the, um, our country uh, the, uh, and how it is going to uh, make it more, um, um, yes, uh, uh, more attractive, attractive to investors? Yes. yes. All right, indeed. Uh, it's uh, very clear we can uh, uh, get some Snapchats from President Abdel Fattah Sisi's speech at the Brexit Forum. Uh, indeed, he sets a significant stone for international economic uh, collaboration. Uh, he emphasized the importance of uh, strengthening uh, ties among Brexit uh, nations to enhance investment, increase uh, 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 dual trade, and promote joint uh, projects. Uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi highlighted the role of BRICS business forums in fostering deeper uh, uh, relationship and collaboration, which is crucial to economic growth. Uh, uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi also acknowledged the effort of business uh, uh, and also the head and the leadership of Russian President Putin during Russian presidency of the BRICS group this year, which contributed to advancing collaboration at various levels. This strategic approach aims to create a more integrated and resilient economic framework among member countries, addressing global economic challenges and leveraging collaborating strengths. Uh, in a sense, uh, 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 TCC uh, underlines uh, uh, the need for uh, unified and uh, uh, collaborative efforts uh, uh, navigating to the complexities of the global economic uh, uh, affairs. Uh, uh, why I think that the BRICS is is uh, uh, playing a crucial role in shaping future economic policies and partnership among its members. Yes, uh, Dr. Reem also, in addition to economic issues, uh, this year's uh, BRICS summit is uh, themed strengthening multilateralism for equitable global development and security. How does, uh, how does this underscore its focus on enhancing international governance and pursuing a greater voice of developing nations in global affairs? Of course, indeed. It's very clear that this uh, summit uh, 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 has a goal, and this goal uh, has a, its uh, assertion about uh, economic process and uh, uh, growth in uh, economic reform uh, and development, development goals, uh, which is grounded in several key initiatives and achievements. Uh, like, for example, firstly, Egypt has been implementing a comprehensive economic reform program since uh, 2016, which includes measures such as uh, subsidy cost tax reforms and uh, uh, introduction of the value add uh, tax debt. These reforms have been uh, crucial in uh, uh, stabilizing the economy, attracting foreign investment. Uh, uh, additionally, the nation's vision, uh, like for example, Egypt's vision in 2030, is, uh, which we consider it as a cornerstone for uh, development strategy, uh, uh, this vision actually aims to achieve sustainable development by focusing on economic, social, and environmental dimensions, which is include uh, uh, ambitious targets for improving infrastructure, healthcare, education, and social services. So, um, what does the summit hold this year to facilitate facing the world economic crisis? 
on the agenda include Russian President Vladimir Putin's idea for a BRICS net payment system to rival SWIFT. Can you elaborate on this? Yes, indeed. Uh, as we said, uh, the main goal of the BRICS with its uh, five nations, we know that uh, uh, BRICS started with five nations uh, uh, and now increased to up to or uh, more uh, uh, continents like uh, Egypt joined uh, last year and officially starting from 2024, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and United Arab Emirates. Basically, this collaboration and uh, uh, we call it a Global South Alliance, alliance can be make a financial transaction uh, uh, move smoothly between these countries uh, uh, out of the SWIFT system or out of the main uh, 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 channels of transition of the financial channels. We don't say that we will uh, completely get out from the SWEFT agreement, but we can find dual agreements between uh, 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 the countries of the BRICS, like Egypt and Russia, like Egypt and China, with the local currencies to reduce the burden on the uh, foreign currencies and also to, uh, um, to avoid uh, uh, dealing with the, uh, uh, SWEFT if some country has a concern with dealing with uh, SWEFT. 
So, Dr. Reem, uh, BRICS was initially established with only five countries, but now it's expanded, and a number of countries have recently joined in, and it, and it, it is, is expected to uh, increase. So, how this, does this affect the cohesion and the continuity of this economic bloc? Of course, uh, the expansion of BRICS uh, from its original five members, as you said, to include the new countries like Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and United uh, Arab Emirates, certainly brings forth opportunities and the challenges. Uh, one of the significant opportunities to increase the representation with more countries joining BRICS uh, becomes more uh, representative of the global south giving it a stronger voice in uh, global economic uh, discussions. So we are here, we are increasing, so there is, we are creating a new uh, trade uh, route map of uh, uh, global south. Different uh, uh, perspectives, uh, uh, we cannot really ignore it. The inclusion of a new member bring diverse perspectives and uh, experiences which can enrich the block decisions making a process and led to more in, uh, uh, innovation uh, solutions. Uh, economic growth uh, with expanding the breaks can attract more investment and foster an economic growth among the member countries benefiting from shared resources and collaborative projects. We know that the resources are uh, very available at these uh, countries and also the lower cost of human resources uh, at these countries, one of the significant uh, 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 powerful tools for the successful of these uh, uh, blocks. So, uh, Dr. Reem, uh, during the summit, President of Fatah Sisi uh, will stress on the importance of boosting the South to South cooperation. So, uh, uh, what is the importance of this step? Uh, of course, uh, uh, absolutely, uh, we uh, work on the agenda of this bloc uh, and aligning with this agenda of this bloc because we joined the, uh, uh, the bloc uh, and uh, we are now a member of the uh, bloc. I will need just to highlight uh, the role of private sector in crucial attracting investment and driving economic growth with the right uh, policies and uh, conductive environment. Uh, in the private sector in Egypt can uh, uh, leverage its dynamic and innovation to bring sustainable benefits like confidence and stability when the government implements stable and uh, transparent policies. It builds confidence in the private sector. Uh, this assurance economic uh, uh, um, and encourage businessmen to invest more knowing they have a predictive operating environment. Uh, also, innovation and efficiency uh, uh, private enterprise often lead the way in innovation and operational efficiency. Uh, by investing in new technologies and practices, they uh, can enhance productivity and competitiveness, making the country more attractive to foreign investors. Uh, we also need to highlight that job creation, uh, the private sector is a significant source of employment uh, as business expands and new ones are, are established. Job opportunities increase, boosting the economic uh, growth and improving living standards for each Egyptian uh, citizen. Diversification, private uh, uh, investments can help diversify the economic reducing re uh, uh, realms on the specific sector. Uh, this uh, uh, diversification can make the economic more resilient to external shocks and fluctuations. Uh, uh, Public-private partnership, uh, collaboration uh, with the government and the private sector can lead to the uh, development of the crucial infrastructure and services. These uh, uh, partnerships can attract uh, future investors, investments and investors by improving the country overall business climate, which at the end I always highlight to attract the foreign direct investment and foreign investors. So, uh, uh, Dr. Reem, the BRICS group uh, was designed to bring together the world's most important developing countries to form an alternative to the political and economic power of the wealthier nations. So, uh, uh, of the North America and Western Europe, of course. So, has the group achieved its targets? Of course. Uh, certainly, given some additional insights of the impact of the BRICS expansion, including these developing countries, 
like enhanced global influence with the inclusion of new members. The BRICS now represent a large portion of the global uh, population and economy. Uh, the increased uh, representation uh, strengths the uh, block uh, uh, voice in the international uh, forums, allowing to uh, uh, advocate more effectively for the interests of the global south. The diversification of the resources, the new members from the disease developing continents bring the diverse resources and economic strength to the uh, table. For example, countries like Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates have significant energy resources, while uh, Egypt and Ethiopia offering strategic uh, geographic advances, like Egypt has a perfect uh, location connecting the three old uh, continents of Africa, Europe, and Asia. This diversification can lead to more robust and resilient economic uh, cooperation with the bloc. Uh, in institutional development, uh, as the BRICS expands, including more countries, especially from developing countries, as you said, uh, there is a growing need to develop stronger institutions to manage the increased uh, complexity. This includes uh, establishing ma uh, machines for, uh, sorry, mechanisms for uh, uh, conflict. Uh, 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 solutions and economic uh, policies cooperation and joint projects building these uh, institutions can help maintain uh, 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 sustainability and ensure the continuity of the block uh, initiatives. Uh, challenges in uh, these projects also uh, uh, can be uh, overcome and uh, uh, have a solution find solutions with the increasing number of different countries with different resources and different business solutions. Okay, so the government has recently taken a series of measures to improve the investment climate. Do you think that the private sector can play a vital role in attracting investments? Indeed, uh, we already, uh, uh, the, the, the economic government, uh, Egyptian government, always highlights the role of private sectors. We cannot really neglect the role of private sectors in boosting our uh, uh, economic uh, development and in boosting our economic agenda. Because, you know, a significant part of the Egyptian uh, uh, economic uh, agenda uh, relies on uh, uh, business, private uh, sectors and their businesses and their um, income or their role in boosting the uh, Egyptian uh, economic as all or as Egyptian uh, GDP. So uh, we can, uh, uh, as always, present the Fatah assertion about Egypt's uh, uh, progress in economic reform uh, and development global uh, is grounded uh, here in Egypt locally with the initiatives and achievements by the, the private sector. Yes, I'd like to thank you, Dr. Reem Isam, Professor of Economics, Cairo University. Thank you for being with us, and the viewers should break, and we'll be back, so stay tuned.